Hey, g'day YouTubers, uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about uh, the USG steel grinder, the electric grinder, and we're going to talk about the Oregon conversion between the degrees, because if you go from an Oregon grinder to a steel grinder, the degrees are all different. So, first let's talk about the Oregon grinder. Oregon designed in their wisdom or the Oregon Tecamec and all the clones they all use 90 degrees as their vertical reference which is what they use on a protractor and zero being the horizontal plane so 90 degrees being the vertical plane they list 90 degrees as being uh, straight up which is alright if you're doing some square grinding and if you're going to uh, do some standard type grinding you'll use 60 degrees which is the most common if you set the grinder to 60 degrees you'll move from 90 which is means that you've only moved 30 degrees the 60 degrees because we're using a uh, they show on a diagram that the 60 degrees comes from the horizontal plane going up to the 90 degree mark so it goes up to the 60 degree mark and that's your 60 degree top plate cutting angle now the top plate cutting angle is not to be confused with the top plate angle the top plate angle is the actual angle of the tooth on a full chisel chain we'll refer to those two angles as a compounded beveled angle so a compounded bevel angle is this angle here which is referred to the uh, top plate so that's your primary angle your secondary angle is this angle that's on the face the face that runs along the 30 degree angle the angle that's made by a grinding wheel that comes in at a 30 degree angle in most cases but it shows as a 60 degree angle because there's 90 degrees rotate to the right 30 degrees you'll be at 60 degrees on your scale so even though that it tells you to rotate to 60 degrees it's not an actual 60 degree uh, you haven't moved 60 degrees you've only moved 30 if we talk about the still USG grinder, they use different angles, but their angles are in reverse. They're using zero degrees as their reference, which is more accurate because more accurate because it's the actual degree. So you can see down the bottom of the scale, there's, you've got zero and on zero for the still and you've got 90 degrees for the Oregon. Now, the steel grinder moves to the left. So if you were to put your grinder at 30 degrees on the still, that is a true 30 degree angle. That means that it's leaning at 30 degrees. On the Oregon, it's got 60, but it's still leaning at 30 degrees. It's leaning 30 degrees from 90. So it sits from 90 to 60, which is 30. I hope you can understand that. So... When you see 45 degrees on both sides, that's fine. From that point on, most grinders, if you, if you have a look at the Oregon grinder or the Oregon clones, they go from 90 to 45. On the still, the same thing. It goes from 0 to 45. The still is the one that I prefer to use because it is actual. Rather than using the degrees as a reference, they are actual rather than reference points whereas the Oregon one is using 90 degrees as a reference so when you tilt it to 60 degrees yes it is 60 degrees by a horizontal plane being referenced and moving up to 60 up the scale to 60 or moving from 90 to 60. If you do a google search and you're looking for chainsaw angles you'll find your 30 degree top plate angle you'll also find your 60 degree top plate cutting angle and you'll find that uh, it'll be illustrated in a diagram showing you the horizontal plane and a bit of a curved line going up to 60 degrees that's the way it's displayed and that's where the 60 degree comes from 
If you take a still USG chart, you will notice there's a little picture of a little grinding machine. You'll see A, B, and C. A means positive or negative on the tilt of the head of the grinding machine. And in most cases in column A, you'll see 40 degrees. The second one is uh, 38 pico duro, that's at 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 40 degrees, 40, 40, until we get down to say uh, the rapid duro, which is uh, tungsten carbide, that's set at 20 degrees. And if we look at rapid duro rescue chain, that's at 10 degrees, uh, the grinder tilt. We can refer to a tilting angle. The correct terminology is top plate uh, angle, uh, top plate cutting angle. Very easy to get confused between top plate angle and top plate cutting angle. So easy to confuse it. That's why a lot of people turn around and say the, the, the head, the tilt angle of the head. That way you'll never get confused with the vice angle. So the swivel vice starts at zero degrees and goes 35 degrees to the left and 35 degrees to the right. That just sets that uh, filing angle. It's referred to as a filing angle because before electric grinders came in, people would hold a file uh, perpendicular to the chainsaw bar and move it 30 degrees to the left or 30 degrees to the right and proceed to file. So that's where uh, the filing angle of the 30 degrees comes from, but the actual tooth angle is 60 degrees. So if we were to measure this angle here and this angle here, in this would be a 60 degree angle, not a 30 degree, but it's a 30 degree filing angle. We're filing it. So just remember 30 and 60 make 90. So I don't want to confuse people. I just want you to look at the graph in front of you. If you've got an Oregon grinder, then you don't even have to worry about this. It won't really concern you. But if you've got a still USG grinder and you've come from an Oregon grinder, it's going to do your head in unless it's explained to you properly. And just remember that it's in reverse. If you, if you understand that the scale is in reverse... Another example of using a scale, a lot of machinery, whether it be a lathe, whether it be a compound saw, all have a scale and all have degrees on them. Those degrees don't mean that something is at an actual degree. It just means that they may be using that degree as a reference point that you set the machine to that point. Doesn't mean that it is actually that point. It may mean that you want to move 10 degrees or 20 degrees. So that's one thing that you have to understand about when you read degrees. If you read them on a uh, mechanical drawing, it's usually illustrated as a little arc. And like an example would be, if you had 90 degrees, you would put a little arc in the corner and you put 90 degrees. If you had 45 degrees, the same thing. You put a little arc in there and you put 45 degrees. That's telling you that those two lines represent that angle. You don't have that luxury on a chainsaw grinder. You've just got a marking and you just follow it as the manufacturer. And the only two manufacturers where it's different is between an Oregon Tecumek style grinder and a still USG grinder. And you've got totally different markings, although they're really the same. It's just that they're in reverse from a reference point. I think anyone that understands a little bit of metrology or understands a bit of geometry, now that they see that right in front of them, it will all make sense and uh, you'll be on your way and you won't have to worry about it because... Even one of the forums that had 100,000 people on it, I remember reading, uh, someone was asking the question about the 40 degrees. Uh, they're, they're really confused and they don't understand how Oregon can have 50 degrees and they've got 40. And then if they do 30 degrees on the still, why is it 60 degrees on the Oregon? And not one person 
ever said it's in reverse. They use a reverse scale because they're using 90 degrees reference on their Oregon and they're using zero degrees reference on their still. Just remember that in the future, any type of machine you use, if you're using a compound saw, they'll use zero degrees as reference. So all as you have to really worry about is how many degrees that you're actually moving the head from a 90 degree vertical position or a zero degree vertical position or a zero degree horizontal position as opposed to a 90 degrees horizontal position. When we look at a protractor, a, protract a protractor is shown as 90 degrees in the middle and we've got a scale to the left and a scale to the right. All protractors are like that, that's the way it is, and that's the way that they use the Oregon grinder, type grinder, 90 degrees being right at the very top, and that's the way it's done, and they're never going to change it. So, And that's where the confusion between actual angles and angles that are there, just for reference. So I hope that explains it all. I'm pretty sure that anyone that owns a, a steel USG now can see those angles in front and realise that it's just uh, the opposite. And thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Bye for now.